Crazy Bird, welcome back to you, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the booster course pass. Today, Wave 4 has finally dropped in along with it. Of course, two new cups, but for the first time in this pass, a brand new character. Birdo is joining the roster, and I'm excited to check it out. If we go to Grand Prix, of course, we can go over here to 150. We'll be doing Mirror and 200 as well, but here it is, Birdo! And she is looking fantastic. And there's five more slots. So I guess that confirms that we'll be getting more characters in the future waves, which is just so exciting. So yeah, we have Birdo to start things off in today's episode. You can see there's actually color variants of her, just like there were with Yoshi and Shy Guy. We have nine in total. I'll be keeping with the basic Birdo pink, but you know, you can choose whatever color you would like. Uh, we have the standard ATV, retro off-road, and the plane glider as our cart setup for today's episode. And we'll be doing the first cup of this wave for today, which is the fruit cup. We have Amsterdam Drift, Riverside Park, DK Summit, and Yoshi's Island. So let's get started. All right, so our first track of the Fruit Cup is the Amsterdam Drift from Mario Kart Tour. This is so cool. So this is, of course, one of the real-life city-based tracks, one of which I have not played. So this is really exciting for me. Of course, Amsterdam is a beautiful city, so this will be really cool. But we're starting with Birdo, of course. Let's see if we can get a good start. All right, not bad, not bad. So these tracks, as you can tell by the map on the bottom right, can get a little complicated at first. So hoping that everything goes well, we'll go through like this and try to catch up to the competition a little bit. Um, it looks like we'll get a banana to start with. I might just put a toss it forward in front of myself. Whoops. Oh, the music is cool already. Okay, let's go ahead and jump off that little Monty Mole part, but this is just so pretty. We got this big field with the windmills everywhere. Just try to get Yoshi a little bit. Ah, oh, I just barely missed him. Just don't hit myself with it, okay? Oh no. Okay, we're catching up a little bit. I'm in second place now. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I think it hit Bowser instead. I want to go sort of around these little tram cars. That was pretty good. Can I hold it for a little bit longer? Got the pink drift. Awesome. Triple green shell coming up too. I'm going to try to hit Metal Mario. I got him. Awesome, things are going really well here then. Oh boy, got it, got it. Okay, so I have this red shell nice and ready waiting for us. If we could just yep, go over here, got it. So I have a lot of good items right now. If we could just hold on to them throughout this race, we're just under the water though, we're at the bottom of this little river. This is so neat. All right, hopping up here. Oh, see I'm able to block that one off, no problem. I'll put this banana down and get some more. I already have my full 10 coins, so. Oh no, I hear it, I hear the blue shell. Throw the bob bomb. Okay, I don't think it's gonna get anybody. Unfortunately, they're gonna pass me with that too, so let's just try to catch up however we can. Ooh, this is really bad, actually. These laps are pretty long now, I'm noticing. Okay, come on, come on. Can I get this one? I can. We're going under the bridge here, or whatever this is, it's like a big tunnel. Super cool. So we're back in first, and whoa, look at this big flower field. This is amazing, gotta watch out for the Prada plants, but this is so pretty. Got it, okay, so we're running through. I'm gonna toss that backwards, get some more items or not. Okay, we got hit by a lightning strike anyways, so good that I threw the green shell, I had the chance. I think I have a bit of a lead. Oh man, can we make it to the end? They're not too far behind, so I gotta be quick. But here it is, oh no, we got it. So our first race is a huge success. We get first place finish. That was great, so Amsterdam looking really cool in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in this booster course pass. Definitely a good one to start it with. I love those a lot, just the, the laps change each time, making it a super fresh experience the whole way through. But let's see what the next race is gonna be. So next up we have Riverside Park from Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance. This is looking amazing. It obviously didn't look much like this in the original GBA version. There's so much more detail here. This is super cool. All right, let's give it a try then. I love it when they add this much detail to what was probably just a super simple track in the original version, because obviously it didn't have any of this crazy landscape to it. It's just a lot more realized here. That's so interesting. Okay, there we go, got it. I think I'll just try to cut the score and we're able to hit, I think, Yoshi or somebody with that one. But it's so cool to see Birdo added to the game. I was not expecting characters to be added through this booster course pass. Especially since it was just sort of random. Like the first three waves didn't have anything, but wave four has Birdo, and now we know there's five characters on the way. Very exciting. So, yeah, as we're racing around with Birdo, I'd love to hear your thoughts on her. You plan on playing with her at all? Is she a character you enjoy? All that kind of stuff. Oh no. Ah, oh, I was able to block with the Bob Bomb, but then I ran into a banana peel. Yoshi's right behind us. We gotta be careful to keep up here a bit. 
need to get some more coins too, but we'll say ahead. Oh no. How did that red shell miss me? It sort of like went around me. Weird. Got it. Ooh. Oh no. Ooh. Got it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I'm sort of running into the wall now, but I'm stealing all these mushrooms. Yeah, the piranha plants, they have mushrooms. They're sort of pushing them up into the air. So I guess if we could hit them with the items, we might be able to get free mushrooms out of it. That's cool. But this is just so neat, just because they had to get really creative with all this extra detail. You know, a lot of these jumps and just going into the cave and stuff, I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the Super Circuit version. Oh no, I think I hear a blue shell or something. Or maybe it's just Metal Mario right on our tail. Oh, he cut in front of me. Okay, we're in second place for now. The red shell's coming in too. This is not good. Uh-oh. Um, I might not be able to catch up in time. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Um, all right, I get a bob them that I'll toss like that. I'll cut this corner. Ah, darn it. Finally catching up and I run right into him. Okay, come on, come on. Don't you do it, don't you do it. Oh no. Ah! Okay, second place finish, not too bad. Dry Bowser takes first place. That was pretty crazy. We're still in first place in points though, which is always good. So I'll take that as we move on to our next race. Ooh, so our third race here is ZK Summit from Mario Kart Wii. This is definitely one of the more memorable ones from the Wii game, in my opinion, with the Shy Guys snowboarding and everything. It's always interesting that DK has a lot of snow-themed tracks. There was one in Mario Kart DS as well, which is what we've been playing to prepare for Wave 4. Between Wave 3 and 4, I, would, I, I did a full playthrough of Mario Kart DS. And that was a lot of fun. So if you're waiting for more Mario Kart action, definitely check that series out if you haven't already. But let's go for this. Oh, I love the song here too. This is great. All right, we got the red shell right here. So let's hit Dry Bowser with this one. We don't want him to get ahead of us in points, but it does have the big launcher, which we sort of saw introduced, um, at least to Mario Kart 8, with the, um, the very autumn-themed map in the last wave. I forgot what the track is named right now, but the one with the with the very pretty trees. Okay, let's go over here, put some bananas down. I wanna launch myself straight up like this. Oh, I didn't get the trick off of it. It's okay. So maybe we'll just stay closer to the grand tier. They're really trying to catch up to me at the moment. And this is where we have to dodge between the, the shy guys who are snowboarding. Not bad, not bad. This is such a cool course. I'm super glad it was added with this wave. Okay, oh, they're trying to get me. I see you, buddy. All right, ready? And then right here. Ah, wait, I got it. Okay, cool. I thought I just barely missed it. But we made it through. We're gonna launch our way all the way back up to the top of the summit. Very cool. This track is just good fun. I mean, they all are, of course, but there, there's just something about this. I'm, I'm very nostalgic for Mario Kart Wii, if you haven't noticed. Okay, there we go. I guess the red shell sort of gave me some leeway from the blue shell. That honestly works out pretty well because it hit somebody else instead, basically. Okay, gotta jump through all these little jumps. And I think you could yeah, sort of take a shortcut there. I remember that being a thing more in Mario Kart Wii. That'll definitely be the next game on our list to play. Now that we finish Mario Kart DS, will be Mario Kart Wii at some point. I don't know exactly when, but no, that's my goal. So hopefully we'll get to that scene. Okay, cool. And then they're right behind me again. I'm gonna try to toss this. Oh, I got him. Awesome. Really feeling a lot of pressure to win this one so that we can keep our first place in points. I do have the blue shell blaster if that becomes a thing again, but it could just be like a red shell or something too that we need to knock away. I don't have my full 10 coins at the moment, so I'm trying to get them somewhere. There's one of them. No, the boost stole it. I can't believe that. Come on, out of all the times. Okay, we get a green shell this time. I'm just gonna jump through all this stuff. And then I'll try this. It's very risky. Whoa, but we did it. That was actually so cool. I think with maybe a little bit more speed in 200cc, that's gonna be a really interesting one. I almost fell to my doom there. That would not have been good. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through like that. Ooh, come on. I think we got it, I think we got it. Yeah, we're definitely winning this one. There we go. So the second race didn't turn out perfect with the placement, but this time we really bounced back in DK Summit. We're at the 42 points now, so it's gonna be really hard for them to catch up in the final race. Okay, so our final race here is a brand new track. It is Yoshi's Island, and it looks so cool. Oh man, this is awesome. Yoshi's Island is one of my favorite Mario games, and I just love the aesthetic to it, and this looks amazing. It's this giant hill, 
We see all the iconic Yoshi's Island characters. Here are the shy guys on the stilts. Oh, I am so happy with this. This is gonna be my favorite track of the, of the wave for sure. But I guess we'll have to wait and see as we race through it here. Oh, it even makes the coin noise. When you pick up these coins that you would hear from Yoshi's Island. I, can, I, I cannot wait to play that game for you guys at some point. And there are also little Yoshi coins. You can just barely see it, but yeah, they have Yoshi's face on them. What a nice little detail. And they're a little bit more oval shaped. Well, we're going way up here. Up to this little town. The music here is so great too. It's just such a fun aesthetic. I can't believe there really hasn't been too much of a Yoshi's Island themed track like this. You can see the giant, what is it called, a blarg? Oh, I guess somebody hit the, the little cloud and it made this different path. What a neat idea, and this is like the little level ending thing. So it's a little bit of a shorter track, but definitely a fun aesthetic with all the custom enemies and stuff. So this is the kind of thing I was really hoping for with this DLC, and I'm just really glad we're getting stuff like this super neat and interesting tracks cover some concepts we haven't seen before. Oh no, oh, you can even see the, uh, the icon there for the Yoshi coin. They're so cool. And Yoshi's in the lead right now. Of course, this is ho his home turf. Makes sense. All right, let's get up here as soon as we can. Do a little trick off of that. We're up in the clouds. <laughs> that guy is so cute out there. Oh yeah, right here you can see it. I, I think maybe I just have to drive through it or something. What an interesting way to do a shortcut though. I got back ahead of Yoshi. Okay, now we're getting some good drifts at the least. I might just throw this behind me. And see how far ahead we can get. Those guys are so cute too. Everything about this track is adorable. All right, heading down here. I'm a little nervous that they're gonna start really throwing items at me here, but that's why we're trying to build up a little collection of our own as we go through this cave with all the crystals. There's so many different little environments here. Very jam-packed in that way, which I definitely appreciate. Somehow my trick didn't work too much there. So let's try to hit this thing ourselves, because I think whoever we were racing with hit it and said, oh, I just barely missed it, darn. Yeah, I don't know if I need, oh no, here we go, here we go, yikes. See, somebody hit it there, so they might take the shortcut. Oh, come on, that was baloney. Come on, come on. Everybody's past me now. This is actually, ooh, not good. Not too much I could have done about that. A blue shell lightning and then getting pushed into a grand shell means we finish in fifth. I don't know if we'll end up winning this one, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. We're at 50 points, so we won by one point. All right, I'll take it. This music too. So good, so good. So let's view our results real quickly. I think we still got the golden trophy. It's not gonna be a three-star finish, of course, but I think a golden trophy is enough for me to stay happy. All right, here we go. For the Fruit Cup at 150cc, what are our results? It was a hard fault one through DK Summit, through Amsterdam and Yoshi's Island as well. There was just so many cool elements in this track, or this cup. I honestly, all four of them were really good. It's hard to choose a favorite. I think Yoshi's Island, just because it's, it's Yoshi's Island, it's a brand new course, it's a super cool aesthetic, but in general, really good cup. So the next cup that we'll be ch taking on in the next episode, gonna have a lot to live up to, but we've collected over 3,000 coins, which means we get a new vehicle customization option as well. So we're gonna be hopping right back into it. Of course, we're not quite done with today's episode. That was just um, 150cc. We're gonna be doing the same thing now at mirror and 200. So let's get going. All right, so next up is the mirror mode for uh, the Fruit Cup. We're gonna be keeping with Birdo. I don't see a reason too much to change the carts and stuff, but I do wanna see what we unlocked. Looks like we got a new glider, the Hylian Kite. Very cool. So right now back to plain glider and we will do, you know, Fruit Cup again. Next episode, we'll do the Boomerang Cup, but it's in mirror mode, so things should be feeling nice and fresh. All right, so Fruit Cup, Amsterdam Drift, but this time, of course, it is mirrored. So everything we learned from the last cup, we need to sort of just flip it in our heads so we go through. That's always hard to do for these Mario Kart Tour City tracks because every lap feels totally random anyways. They're not, but they just sort of feel that way especially the first few times that you race them. So he's got to pay attention to the arrows and the signs telling us which way to go. Yeah, I would love to hear what are your thoughts so far on wave four, Birdo being added, the fruit cup, all that kind of stuff. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything. Honestly, each wave, in my opinion, has been getting a little bit better each time. There's been plenty of impressive tracks. Now we're getting new characters. It just, it feels like a better and better deal as time goes on. And that's fantastic. It's just, 
This is becoming one of the most jam-packed Mario Kart games ever, and that is so, so cool. And it is cool to see Birdo make a return. Honestly, she was, you know, sorely missing from the original Mario Kart 8 roster. You know, we, we had her in Mario Kart Double Dash, right? And I think Mario Kart Wii? I can't remember exactly, but I think those are the only two Mario Kart games she's been in. Maybe Mario Kart 7. I haven't really played that one too much, but... You know, she hasn't been in most of them, but the ones she's been in have been, you know, a welcome addition, in my opinion. We're pretty far ahead of the competition at the moment. I want to keep it that way. I want to see if we can't get a better sort of score than we did last last time. Okay, you know what? Nope, not happening. I got the blue shell. I got a banana for that red shell. Nothing is stopping me this time. All right, got it. There we go. There we go. Trip through this as much as we can. Watch out for that. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. The red shell's coming in too. And I also really like the fact that they, you know, introduced different colors for Birdo too. Maybe I should have tried one of those. Maybe next cup, we'll, we'll try one of those. We've got to race against the rest of the players who are still going the other direction. But yeah, I mean, it's really cool whenever they add color variants like that. Interesting that they added it for Birdo too, because I don't think there's been any other game where Birdo has had color variants like that. Typically, those are just Yoshi and Shy Guy. So I wonder if maybe they'll add, it'd be cool to see maybe like Koopa color variants or something like that. Okay, almost there, almost there. I'll put this down and boom, we're good to go. So our first race actually turning out quite well. We had a good lead the entire time. So we'll be making the most of that, get that 15 points and move on to the next race. All right, so our next one of course is the mirrored version of Riverside Park on the Game Boy Advance Mario Kart Super Circuit. Another game we played, so. Sort of just, it's cool to see how these tracks evolve. All right, we'll grab this real quick and get the drift in. Now this one, it didn't go perfectly before we got a second place finish. So not only do I want to get in the first place, but I want to get as far ahead as we can. So pulling out all the stops this time to get super duper far ahead, pull out all the good drifts that I can manage. Watch out for these little crown of plants. I think these ones are called patooies or something like that, right? because you know, they spit things out like Patui. All right, let's uh, line things up a little bit, see if I can't hit Yoshi with this. Ah, not quite. It's hard to hit enemies on a curb. I still got him. It just had the bats a couple of times. That was actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm not doing super well. I might want to hide behind Yoshi here to see if we can get like a slipstream. It didn't really work. Okay, red shell for Yoshi. See ya, buddy. Okay, got it. I want the double question block, I got it. So, what do I get now? More coins. And I do have this blue shell blaster if needed. Thought that would have been enough for the pink drift, it wasn't. Oh no, ooh, that could have been bad. Almost messed up the drift, but we're fine. Got it, got it. All right, so one lap remaining here. We're pretty far ahead. I just need to keep it that way. If they try to toss a blue shell at us, we'll be able to block it. Or a red shell even, but I, I'd rather not use it for that. That time I got the pink drift. Okay, here we go. It has been a little bit of an adjustment. I'm used to Mario Kart DS and the weird drifting in that game. Okay, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. Because they still have that full spiral to actually catch up to me. So we get it, we're fine. Perfect. All right, that's the two wins in a row. This is looking a lot better than the previous attempt at 150. If we can keep this going, maybe we can even get the three-star finish. All right, let's move to the next race. So next up, of course, we have DK Summit. And this one's gonna be a bit weird in mirror mode, I think, I feel like, because I remember it. Out of all these tracks, this is the one that I feel like, you know, I have the strongest memory of. So playing this one on mirror mode might be a little bit off-putting. Off we go. I like all the advertisements. Now it's much harder to read them, but you can see all the billboards and stuff. Watching our way up here. This is definitely making me excited to play Mario Kart Wii sometime soon. Okay, so let's get over here real quick. Do a little trick like that. Got my banana.
There we go. That was almost, honestly the best line we've taken through that. I'm gonna put the banana down there and just try to pick up another item. I almost hit that snowboarding shy guy. Okay, we're doing fine though. They are trying to catch up to me a little bit. It's mostly been Tanuki, Mario, and Animal Crossing Villager who've been chasing after us these last few races. I love that there's a giant statue of DK on a snowboard that I didn't see that one before, huh? Has it always been there? I guess so. Learning all sorts of new details about this track today. Very cool. Yeah, you can see it up there. I don't know, I've never really noticed that. I don't know if I should hold on to this bob bomb. I'll keep it for now. Okay, that was a good drift. But this is definitely gonna be an interesting set of turns to take in 200. Guess we'll just see that for the next cup though. We'll, we'll just save that for then. Gotta focus on keeping up with how we're doing here. We do get hit by the lightning, but the good thing about that, ooh, and I didn't get hit by that red shell because of that. Um, the, you know, the thing about lightning is that I'm never too worried about it because everybody gets hit by the lightning. So yeah, it's setting me back, but it's the same with everybody else. Okay, so it's gonna keep drifting. Maybe I'll head this way this time, try to, ah, oh, I was gonna try to get the double item. Maybe not the best idea. No, I did get the double item. Never mind. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Gonna drift through to here. I, and I haven't really been doing the super launcher things. They can be nice, but I feel like they just send you too far up and it eats into the sort of the time it takes you to get around the turn. So I think in general, they're not really too worth it unless you really need the coins or the item or just to get around some obstacles and stuff. But there we go, another win that we got done really well. I don't know why this is working out so much better than 150. Usually mirror mode is a lot more difficult. So maybe we're getting lucky, maybe we're just getting a good handle on these tracks, but we have one more left to go, of course. So let's get to it. All right, so our final one, of course, for mirror mode is Yoshi's Island. Excited to play this again. We'll be trying to hit that little cloud block to see if we can get the shortcut a little bit more. Oh, you can see Poochie on the mailbox too? Right there on the left. Yeah, Poochie's is on the mailbox. That's so cute. All right, let's go for it then. We're going to uh, grab an item straight away. And I'll hold on to the screen shell for now. I don't think there's any other crazy shortcuts in this track though from what I've seen. I've been trying to keep an eye out for shortcuts and stuff, but so far this, Cup doesn't seem to have a ton of them besides just the one cloud and just some basic corner cuts and stuff. Okay, drifting our way up this mountain. Going over here and oh no. Oh, okay, I guess I held down too much. That is something I need to be worried about. Uh oh, that wasn't so good, but it's okay. We have plenty of time in this race to catch back up. And I can try to hit some people like this and I'm trying to get this. Ah! Oh. Darn, I don't know if you can just run into it. Every time I've gotten so close, somebody else was able to hit it though. So I guess they're gonna use that to catch up a little bit. Uh, I'm not doing super well so far, but we're heading into our second lap. We're in fifth place. Some of them are definitely, you know, slowing down a bit. Oh, come on. Here, I'll throw my own boomerang then. How do you like it? Oh, and I missed you both times. No, what, what is going on there? I lost all my speed. Not having the best of luck on this track so far. No item now. But I am still catching up, so item or not, as long as we can just race well, there's a chance. So let's hold up here, don't hold forward. Just one item. I got the fire flower though, come on. That's gotta hit it, I missed it still. I missed everything with my fire flower. Not good. And drifting through. That's pretty good. So we're starting this last lap in first place. All right, we get some more of the Yoshi coins. Always fun to see the Piranha Plant almost chomped me there. Oh no, come on, tried to drift. Must have pressed the button too soon. Oh no, not the blue shell. Oh, it's gonna hit Tanuki Mario instead. Okay, that was perfect timing. Super fortunate. Okay, come on, almost there. 
Gotta get up here. Watch out for the, the bubbling volcano down there. I don't know if that can actually hit me, but I do not want to risk it right now. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the double there. Let's get more coins. Come on, ah, oh, this is so hard to hit that thing. Oh no. Whoa, it's weird that I got hit by the lightning, but we don't fall. That's right, wasn't that something that was changed with one of these wave updates? Either way, I think we're about to win. Can we get it? Nobody's gonna stop us. There we go, so we got first place in every track here in the mirror mode of Fruit Cup. That's awesome, so we'll get a guaranteed three stars here, I think. Very happy celebratory music, of course, too. Let's see the results. So a lot of hard fought victories in this mirror mode cup. I'm really happy to see it. So Birdo is racing through here at the jungle. Of course on Yoshi's Island and DK Summit as well as Amsterdam. So we did great, really happy to see it bouncing back in a major way. Hopefully we can keep that momentum as we head into 200 CC, but first place all four times is exactly what I wanted to see. So let's see, do we get our three stars as well as our golden trophy? Congratulations, yes we do. Very cool. So we're just gonna hop right back into it. Maybe I'll change Birdo's color, seeing how we have a lot of options. I don't know which one I'll do, but I definitely wanna try something. So here, Grand Prix. We'll go to 200cc now. Same cut, but different color. We could do, you know, very zebra colors here with the black and white. I think that sounds pretty cool. Interesting. So it will go with that. I'll keep with all these. And we'll do Fruit Cup again, 200cc. Okay, so 200cc is up next. I'm really excited for this, just because 200cc is a lot of fun. It really makes you rethink how you have to maneuver through some courses, and I think a couple of these might be interesting. We might be able to sort of take on new shortcuts in a way, or at least have to take different lines than we normally would at previous speeds. And we're going for it. So, let's see. Gotta catch up a little bit, because of course we sort of start in the back. I'll go ahead and get that, and off we go. But of course, all the opponents are moving just as fast as we are, so, oh no! Doesn't necessarily make it easier that we're going faster. Okay, let's get through, oh boy. And then use the mushroom. Got it? I'm in second place right now. I think we'll just sneak back over here. Gotta really focus on our drift control, which can be difficult. Especially this track is the one I, I know the least of the three, just because each lap is so different. It just takes a lot of time to memorize it all. Okay, got through that pretty well, though. Drifting through that. Oh, okay, could've been better, could've been worse. I think I'll throw that over that way. Oh no. Ooh. And we're somehow in the last lap already. That happened so, so fast. Oh, I hit the curb. It's not what I wanted. We're going pretty well there for a moment though. I'll throw out this banana, go like this. I do it with the blue shell blaster if the worst is to happen. Oh man, that just launched me into the wall. I felt like there was nothing I could do there. Come on, just a few more straightaways out and we should be there. Ah! Man, the speed you gain is just too much to handle sometimes. They're catching up a little bit, but I think I'm all right. It's gonna blast us just in case, but there we go. We do win the first one here in Amsterdam. That was a tough one. I think it'll be the toughest one just because those turns. Some of them not really made for 200 CC. There's just, it's unavoidable that you're gonna hit the wall. So now we have Riverside Park. At 200 CC, this one is gonna be pretty wild. Since it's such a short track, I think we'll get around it super fast too, but I guess we'll see. All right. Got it. Nice little boost there. I feel like the timing in Mario Kart DS is a little bit different for that, so I'm very used to that one still. Oh no. Ooh. There we go. Very focused on making these drifts work out. Oh no. Because that one will not. Oh jeez. It's okay though. It's interesting that this song almost sounds like it's a Donkey Kong song, just with the different instruments being used. Got it. Drift through this. Nice, nice. Gotta go around that piranha plant. Really good drift, actually. Okay, this is what I messed up before. I'm gonna mess it up this time, too. That one spot goes on for a little bit longer than I anticipate, and that throws me off. 
I can't see a thing right now, but I know that that blue shell sees me. This is going straight for me. Oh, but the lightning sort of saving me. Because the lightning does def definitely does not inca incapacitate us as long as a blue shell would have. So that was actually really, really fortunate. So as long as we can stay ahead of the competition for this last lap. Come on, come on. I'm gonna throw this. No, this is not what I wanted to do. I went to throw it backwards. I don't know why I went forward. Okay, not good, not good at all. Uh, we can catch up that fight. No, who's hitting the boomerang backwards? Ah, oh, this is a mess. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have too much space here to actually catch up, so we'll take a third. You know, that's just something that happens. So with too many items going everywhere, it gets a little messy. Okay, DK Summit is certainly gonna be an interesting one. I think we'll be able to take a bit of a different path with the one part where it sort of the turns make an S, because I think we'll just be able to sort of jump through. I guess we'll see in just a moment. We're in third place for now. There we go, that was much better of a boost. Getting out in front for this first turn is always good. Things are just starting to heat up here. Okay, the red shell very luckily missed me. I don't know how it did that, but I'm very thankful. I think I might just get yeah, jump through this now. Sometimes it's better to try to just jump through or just power through things. Okay, yeah, I wanted to sort of try, I think jumping about here. Maybe not the amount of speed I was expecting. Okay, never mind. I thought we could make that jump for sure. Sometimes it's better to power through things at 200cc than it is to try to maneuver around them. It really depends. Of course, through our main Mario Kart 8 Deluxe series, we played through everything both 150 and 200cc. That was a good few years ago now. It's crazy to think that was like, what, 2017, 18? So that was five or six years ago. Crazy how long Mario Kart 8's been around. Cause you know, since then it was, it was also on the Wii U. Mario Kart 8's almost been around for like 10 years, which is pretty wild. Quite the history this game has. Okay, uh, red shell's coming in to get me, but so is a blue shell. This is a mess. Jeez, they're really trying to get me right now, but I think I can catch up a little bit just by uh, drifting like this. Toadette really trying to take the lead here. Just sort of flying all over the place, so bouncing against the wall. Come on, out of the way. I need to take this win. We fell behind a little bit, of course, taking a third place finish last race. I want to get back into first with this. Okay, got it. Got my green shell. You can definitely take that jump a little bit, but I don't know, I just, I, I can't find a good angle for it. But this time I'll be able to, okay, that was pretty nice actually. That might be the faster line. This red shell cannot actually catch up with me. That is crazy. It could not catch up. That's how fast we were going. That is amazing, so another win for Birdo here. Let's go for our last race of today at 200cc on Yoshi's Island. So next up, Yoshi's Island, the last race of the Fruit Cup. I always love when they add brand new tracks to um, the Booster Course Pass. Of course, having classic tracks is good too, but just totally original ones are super exciting. And this one just has so much wonderful detail to it. So here we go, 200cc on Yoshi's Island. I missed my item. Okay, well, oh, actually that turned out really good. I thought I was gonna drift into that shy guy and end up working out that way. So that's good for us. This red shell ended up not hitting me. Oh, I need to drift or break there. But I think we can make quick work of this track if we just maneuver through things correctly. I sort of, oh my goodness, whoa, whoa! That was wild, bouncing off the clouds. Come on, can I hit it? No way. I guess you really can't fly through it. I think you just have to hit it with an item, which is so difficult to do. I thought that'd be harder than actually just running into it. Definitely one of the more peculiar shortcuts we've seen in Mario Kart in general. Just having this sort of thing that you have to activate. Like typically they're not anything crazier than just, you know, cutting a corner or using a mushroom at the right time but to have to actually hit it in that way, definitely interesting. Okay, so I try to slow it down a little bit for this corner, because if not, it gets a little messy. 
the plummet. Can I just hit it? There we go. Maybe you can just run into it. It's just so hard to tell. But I'm glad we got to activate it. Unfortunately, you know, Metal Mario got onto it too, which is not what I wanted. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, could have been worse. Could have been worse. Now I'm getting hit by lightning now. It is definitely making me very nostalgic for Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. I definitely want to play that game through at some point. I've never fully completed it before, so it's definitely on my gigantic, hauntingly large list of games to play. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. They might catch up with blue shells coming in, but you know what? I'm gonna slow down though and let it be Metal Mario's. Okay, it's my problem too. You know what? That didn't work. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Um, somebody hit the shortcut so everybody gets it. This is not good. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm in second place. Can I steal first? No! Metal Mario just barely snagged it, but I think we'll have enough to win in points again. We'll tie. I can't believe that. So who gets the golden trophy? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever ended in a tie before. This is weird. I don't know what to make of this. So we got like what? A first, a third, a first, and a second, getting us first place in total. I can't believe that. What a weird race that was. All right, well, it was a hard fall one again for sure. Georgia CC is really challenging, and sometimes it can really just feel up to luck, depending on like what items get thrown your way, how many people bump into you, all that kind of stuff. But you know, we did a pretty good job. I think this is definitely one of the best cups in the past so far. I had a thoroughly good time playing through it on all three difficulties. But that's gonna be the fruit cup. So let's see, do I get the golden trophy? I do, okay, then I won't complain too much. We won't get too much more beyond that. We tie with Metal Mario. I wonder if he got it as well. I guess we'll never know. All right then, so yeah, very, very cool. I had a lot of fun with this one. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the fruit cup, Wave 4, and Birdo being added to Mario Kart 8. Lux and stay tuned. Next episode, we'll be doing the Boomerang Cup and seeing what cool new courses will be waiting for us there. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the Booster Course Pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.